Investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this Friday, the 5th of January, and we're looking at a really nice pop to the upside in the Dow, 144. At 37,586. Okay, maybe now it's time to just go to this. You remember we were looking at the, there was a chance that there was some kind of similarity. Let me just do this, INDU. Similarity to the type of reversal we had uh, August the 1st in the Dow. And yes, August the 1st, uh, where the nine period moving average was very strong. And it actually remains strong all the way from August the 1st for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And on the 10th session, that 9-period moving average, which was green, turned pink as it crossed under the 14-period moving average. And I had said, is there a chance? And look here, this on-balance volume gave a perfect low on the 29th, uh, sorry, 27th of October right at the exact low. And then I said, there's a chance with a little doji candle forming right here. And that was on a, a month later, December the 28th, that there was a chance that if the nine period moving average, which was now at a, a slightly different uh, angle or degree, gave a sell signal, and that's why we actually went short right there. We still have core long positions from March of 2020, uh, October of 2022, but we want it as a short-term trading position, and we've still got this. We wanted to see whether or not we would see a rotation that allowed the this technical Friday, so I'm, I'm getting really technical here. We would see the Dow or one of the indices, we didn't know at the time which it would be, but we thought possibly the Dow as one of the stronger indicators taking us time to roll over while the SMHs, the Semiconductor Index, had a really good turnaround in that on-balance volume. You saw it right here. That was November the 20th. It's done it many times. A little doji candle right there. Uh, in October, pulls back, a uh, candle right there on the 20th of November, turns down. There was one right here on the uh, 15th of December, but the, the price and the action was so strong that I didn't. we didn't do anything. But right here, we did go short, three times short, small position, and we had some really nice percentage gains from that. And um, what we were looking at was that the semiconductor was really the weakest of the indices. And normally we would look at whatever happens with the semiconductors kind of happens eventually to the general market. All right, so with that said, um, there's been a really nice turnaround intraday from earlier on this morning with the, uh, from the 9.30 opening, because prior to that, the SMHs are down quite sharply. And you've seen an, a good rally, but look, the day is young. Uh, we are not even, we are now 39 minutes into the trading day, last trading day of the week. So we can't tell you for sure that this S, which is the nine period moving average going underneath the 14 is going to last. That could change in another hour, two, three. You could go back to nothing, which means it's still green. And that allows the internal strength to, to allow for the SMHs to go even higher. So what did we look at? We looked at, um, that's the nine period over the 14. Um, and you can see it right here, that in the weekly chart, and sorry, in the daily chart, there's another daily chart, that's without the unbalanced volume, you've got that S right there. But wait a minute, let's look at what's happening in the Dow. So the, I, I, my question was for subscribers, to my opening call, are we here? Are we going to see some kind of a double top? We still don't know the answer because the day is young. But what we are looking at, the August 1st high was so different 
to the characteristic of the on balance volume that even that rebound, what I call in this particular case, it really looked like um, a rogue wave spike. It didn't take out the previous high, but it got so close right there, but we were short and we stayed short. And look, on the 10th of August, but that on balance volume was way weaker. Now what we're looking at is there's a difference because the on balance volume is holding really well. In fact, um, hmm, this is going to be interesting. Uh, 37, 37.6. Okay, and let's go to this one. 37.4. And in this particular moment, we've got 37.7. Yeah, so that's very interesting. There's a slight difference here because that on balance volume is giving up nothing. The nine period moving average is slightly lower. So this is a work in progress. And as I see it, the daily charts of so many stocks and indices were making highs as we got into the end of December that it seemed to me some kind of a digestive action should unfold. And we've seen it. I mean, look at Microsoft. It's a long Microsoft from 338s. But look at that. Uh, it, it made a high right there just at the end of uh, November. And since then, it's been the dreaded H that goes to a lowercase H. Uh, lowercase H goes to a lowercase M formation and really basically gone sideways. So there's been a rotation that's going on. And if you look at the XLF, the financials, and to me, this is really important. The reason why I didn't want to go just completely to the bearish side, and I said this is very specific, we've got short-term trades on, is because the financials, look how the nine period, just unbelievable, what a technique. Look at this nine period moving on the XLF, the financial S&P spider fund. On the 3rd of November, it crosses positive. And that nine period moving average has remained strong all the way through and even today. It's up 31 cents. Uh, look at the on balance volume. It keeps giving signals, but this <laughs> is ignoring the signal. It still says, hey, I am the indicator of last resort, and I'm telling you, this remains positive. And that's the same thing in the weekly. All right, enough with that. I just want you to go through to tell you the reasoning for my stance and the reasoning for us taking a new position completely in an area that we haven't touched before. And it's an area that involves crude oil, natural gas, and some other areas in the commodity sector. Um, I have no idea if it's going to work, but all the signals said that this particular fund should start, have a good opportunity now for the first time in ages of moving higher. So I'm looking at this and I'm saying this is a period of opportunity, but at the same time, you've got to have some caution. All right, got that, that out of the way. Now let's go back. We're looking at the Dow, as I said, holding very nicely. Uh, giving back a little bit, still up 122 points. That's pretty good. S&P also giving back just a little bit. Uh, it's up 26 at 47.12. It did it 47.21. That's right. On the 14-period exponential moving average, by the end of the day, are we going to see some selling pressure come back or will there be new buying pressure? My, uh, my reading right now says, look at this digestive basis. Right now, it's just... If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. Thank you, Friday. So let me just show you a couple of things here. So the one-minute chart of the e mini went to the one-minute chart has just gone to a sell signal, not yet confirmed with a sell mode because I need to see the nine-period moving average to a negative. It is in a leg E. We'll see if it makes a peak. E, remember, from peak D up, you got to be careful about reversals. Uh, so this is an E, but it became a B in the 10-minute chart. Think of this as a daily, weekly, monthly in the 10-minute chart. And we'll just have to wait and see what happens next. But my suspicion is whatever the news was for that, ex and, and it was really short covering, some new buying. To me, I would, I like to use the semiconductors as an indicator for myself. I like to use Microsoft now as some kind of a, a not a not a Dow benchmark, but a Dow component that is really important in that whole sector of certainly the tech sector. And it's up, uh, it was up earlier on sharper, now it's up 2.30, <clears throat> still holding very nicely, but it's basically gone sideways. And I just think that it's just telling us a story. So as it stands right now, a little bit too much exuberance after that stunning pressure. That doesn't mean to say we couldn't hold quite nicely. I, I'm just making it as simple as possible. Going into the 2.15 time, 2 o'clock to 2.15, if the Dow is holding a plus, 50s or more that says you know what we can we can close pretty reasonably uh for the session but if it gives up the gains and by after two o'clock it's only up 20 or it's actually gone negative who that gives us that that means i have to go straight away right now to the weekly chart mention it first of all uh let me go through this so i, I let me do this i had a question about peloton so after <laughs> after thanksgiving and after new year's after christmas all i can say is if ever peloton was to do its job 
This is it. Let me just see. I think this is a this is a peak A, B, C. It's in the leg C right now in the weekly chart. Wow, what a smash to the downside from the 160s. Woo, 160 down to single digits. And now we've got, so this is your low. So that's an A right there. This is a B. And this is a, oh, wait, no, that's a B. Ho, 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 we're already at a D. There's your B. There's your C. And there's your D. Okay. So within that context, the weekly charts are really down a D. It looked very ugly earlier in the week, three days ago, and now it looks fantastic. All right, let's just do this for the daily chart. Yep, that's the low right there. That's the low that I chose. So this is an A right here. Remember, from the low bar right there, if you get a buy signal and you get an upgrade to buy mode, which it did right there, uh, you've got the, every new higher peak, every, sorry, every peak from this low needs to be uh, notated. That's your only obligation. So that's an A. This is an A. This is an A. This is an A. And all of a sudden, they all conglomerate to make a new B. That's a very powerful move. That's like a Chapman wave restart. Not an instant restart, but a restart after a low has been made. And that says it should go to a D at some point if it's that powerful. And lo and behold, it goes right there to the D. And now we've got this big spike up. To be conservative, I'm not calling this a new A. It didn't take out that, that, lower, that lower trough before D. But I'm going to call it E. I can always change that. E is a very strong move to the upside. So... Congratulations! Uh, you had got you got in um, to Peloton, so now it's moving up very nicely. What you need to consider is that there's a kind of a fundamental thing that it's like a it just flows through Peloton all the time. Why? Because it's an exercise and the exercise machines. I don't remember. I know they've changed the whole format. I don't know what it is now, but. Um, you do need the bike or a bike to be able to to, to generate the software and the the visuals that go with the exercises and the background scene, et cetera, et cetera. So this is a perfect time. And the fact that it's it's studded and splattered so long and now it's just broken out, it says to me at six point ninety eight, I would say keep the core position. Have ha, split the core position into a stop that you're very comfortable with. And another stop that says, this is a little bit more aggressive, but if it's going to work, it should not touch that level. And to me right now at 698, the body of the candle where it opened this morning before it pulled back and then ran up to the, to the, to the, to the, to the, uh, uh, what is it? 6.98 area. Um, oh, that's where it is right now. It ran up to 715. It says to me, that the body at, between 655 and 643, probably I'd have just a little bit of a stop right there. The reason what I'm saying, why I'm saying this is that the monthly chart, forget about it. It's just the ugliest thing you can even imagine. But that weekly chart is starting to say, hey, I want to tackle all those ugly candles from July and August on the way down. And if that's the case, this is, and now let's go back to the fundamentals. In time, after the last month and a half of eating, you would expect that people are really looking, and this is where they come up with the promises and the, the all the all the all the, the um, you know everything they they put down as objectives for the for the new year. Um, this is where they do it, and it should last at least for another couple of weeks, for goodness' sake. Okay, so what am I looking at? I'm looking at if. Peloton is able to get to seven dollars and thirty-eight. I think I'm going to make that higher. Seven sixteen is the high today. If by Wednesday of next week, and this is the first week we have in a while that doesn't have a holiday, um, if it can get to seven thirty-eight, then the seven sixty-three. 200 period exponential moving average that it hasn't even looked at. I mean, it hasn't even. <laughs> When did it last touch? Oh, it touched it on the big spike that went from peak A. Whoops. Oh, keep still there. From peak A, B, C, D. That peak D, doji candle high of the 3rd of February. It's almost a year ago that it was trading up in the uh, uh, 17 area, 17, 18 area. Well, it did come down to the threes. 
And now I think that we can look at it. Uh, no, I think it came down to the fours. That was the low right there. Uh, low was 428 on the 27th of October. This to me looks like, you see that gap? It's never filled that gap. This is the first day it's actually gone into the gap. And that just says the high of this candle all confirms that 6.49 was the high of the 28th of August before it gapped down. Never filled the gap. It got a huge chunk down, but it didn't fill the gap. Uh, and now we fill the gap. Finally, it took a little while. I'd say I'd say September to uh, January. These are quite a while. Okay, and that just says now we're looking at higher highs and higher lows. You've come down in the 200 period moving average from way up there to 17 level to now seven dollars and 63 cents. That would be my target. But and that's on the on the um, right there. Yeah. So I like what I'm like what I'm seeing. Um, but you do need to have some kind of stop. Now, what I wanted to say is, if we can get to 738, then what I would do is, your call, your call position, put the stop. But mentally, that you've had a kind of a trading stop on, raise that a little bit, and I would start a new trading position right there. And I'd have a very tight stop on the trading position because your target is 763. Uh, Dow's up 107, S&P's at 25. I'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. .com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. 
back and the Dow's up 87, uh, S&P's up 23, sort of kind of seeing a little bit of slow liquidation there, a little bit of selling pressures coming in. But as I said before, I am impressed overall, and that's the reason why I remain bullish on this market. I believe that what we're looking at here, so this is going to be a leg C in the XLF. Mm -mm. I think high prices are coming after this big digestive phase is, is completed. So XLF is the financials. That's really good. Um, we had I had a, a question about this. I'll do it again today. I had a question about Bank of America. We, we do have, own Bank of America uh, from quite a bit lower down. And it made a really quick peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D, all within the rectangle formation. And that just says that within the context of this particular pattern, there should be some kind of a pullback back into the rectangle formation. <coughs> That's kind of the way these 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 flag pole patterns work, but it's a leg C in the in the weekly chart, and that's really positive. So um, yeah, there's some. I mean, look at the spectacular move that City made. It goes right through the 200 period moving average. It was one of the weaker ones down in the 38. Was it 38? Right there, 38. 38.17 was the low on the 27th of October. Look, big A, big B, C, big D. And then look what happened. Chat wave instant restart goes A, B, C, and goes to a D and pops to an E right now. Getting a little bit overboard, unbalanced volumes overboard. The other technicals are still pretty darn good. So that's what I'm saying, that you've got to think of this as uh, something uh, It's different to what we've seen before. Look, if you go to MU, um, MU is Micron. It didn't go to the all-time high of the 98 area that was made with a double top uh, back in January of uh, 2022, uh, which then pulled back under 50, uh, almost a 50% uh, retracement, and now started to work its way higher, um, but still underneath the previous high. But a digestive phase nevertheless, because the SMHs here on this chart. A very nice action today of 2.05, 167.09. But you can see, as I said before, that S in the um, nine period moving average, and you did the rectangle formation that made the arch formation, not just the the lopsided cup going to high highs and higher lows to a peak D just under right on a, above the previous high. It did that pattern that I call the arch formation that makes it um, more devastating when it comes down. Because there is no, there's no peak. Look on the left side, it just went straight down from 176.75 down to the low three days ago of 163.97. Well, that doesn't sound like such a big deal. 13 points, 10, 11 percent in a stock that's gone from 136 in October. Let's call it November. In two months, it's gone from a 136 to 176. 40 points. That's a way bigger percentage on the upside. So. I just believe that from everything I'm looking at, this the daily charts all need digestive moments. And the rotation said that the one the S sectors and the stocks that were in the and indices that were in the weaker sectors. Let's see what ARK is doing. ARKK, look at this. ARK is trading up a little bit today, up 22 cents at 49.16. This is this is I don't want to go into it, but it's technical Friday, so well. Little, the tiniest little doji candle at 54.52 on the 27th of December. It opens the next day with a round number 54. That's your silent doji, Chapman Wave silent doji. Remember, this is one of the techniques that I developed, the myriad techniques that I have. And then it pulls back really sharply. Boom, 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 boom. And it drops down to the 48, 30, was it? 4807 area. So that's... Um, Six points, that's about 11, 12 percent very quickly. But it's telling me that the IWM, which is the kind of the category of the uh, small caps that ARC is sometimes in, not always, but almost the same pattern. So it tells me that the small caps aren't quite ready to lead. They had a fabulous two months, but they aren't quite ready to lead right now. And this is a very important digestive moment. That, that's really basically the point. So I also wrote, okay, in the den, no, I haven't finished. 
GDX. So the question came up, GDX, yeah. So look, GD has the 200 period moving average. I, I love this as a technique that if you just put this, you just put this moving average, exponential moving average, 200 period in your chart, you don't have to do anything. It does all the work for you. It says magnet line, Magna Carta. Oh, I saw the Magna Carta. There were four of them. One was, where was it? It was in um, Salisbury, was it? Southern England, the west side, the bottom there, near Dover, near Dorset. Um, yeah, Magna Carta. Yeah, so this is Magnet Line. This is the Magnet Line, and it keeps coming back. No matter where it goes, up or down, it's a sine wave because it keeps coming back. So as long as the GDX is hugging this line, it's not going to break down too much, but it's not going to persevere on the upside until it gets above this high that was made right here on the 18th of July of 32.92. Two, two and a half points. That doesn't sound like much, does it? Say three points for gold, because when gold moves, it really moves. But I'm just saying to you, keep in mind that the miners, the GDX, has been stuck right here for quite some time, and I don't see it just yet giving me any indications that it wants to move much higher. It's had the opportunity because the 14-period uh, moving, 200-period uh, moving average in the weekly chart has done the same thing. It's right on it now at 30.19. It's actually two cents lower. But the 9 is over the 14. The MACD is good. The stochastics at 80%. The on-balance volume is not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. And yet gold hasn't had the temerity. It hasn't been able to sustain any big bounces, but it also hasn't broken down. So I just say gold is doing okay. Question came in. I'll do that right now. INMB. InMed, I believe that's called. That is called uh, in, in, in immune. When they get funny names like that, boy, I don't know. Immune, Bio Inc. Trading at 12.46, up 37. So I did the homework on this before when I was asked about. Actually, I don't. I think this is one that showed up on my screener list, not screamer, because it could have become a screamer, but a screener list with an N. So that's E, and there's your oops, uppercase on the way up. E, F has a huge pullback percentage-wise from about 11.47 down to the 9.30ish uh, area, and this saw some new move up, peak. A, I believe that's B, and I believe that's C. Yeah, this is acting really nicely. Weekly chart is gone. A, and that's an F slash B. I have to have the alternate count only because, uh, well, I can't really. I could have had this as a B and it's a C in the weekly and the monthly chart. This is actually acting very well. It takes 11.50 to $11 range. Very good support if there's a sudden slide, but it also says on the left side it's kind of open. There's not much resistance at this point. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's above the resistance levels. All right, I'll come back to it. So I return. Dow's up 96, that's simply up 25. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So in the Champ Wave, we're always looking for a buy signal to go to a buy mode to get you to the fourth highest peak. That's where other things can happen. Go higher, but that's kind of your objective, right? So this, just looking at it, I would have said to you, if you said to me, what kind of stock is that? I would have said a biotech stock. Look at the rhythm of each one of these huge U-shaped spikes to higher highs. It just says biotech. This is the way they work very often. But now look at this INMD, I'm <coughs> trading at 12.30 up 21 cents in Yoon, Inc. Now it's a more mature company. You see the same cup formations stalling at the 200 period moving average. But for the past, <coughs> excuse me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven weeks, it's hit the 200 period moving average and then moved higher from there. So this is a more mature company. It is in a process as the visual, the chart itself is saying, it has a different modus operandi in its, its, in its economics than it had. And the rallies last longer and you're making higher highs and higher lows. That's really a positive. So where would I say the next uh, level of resistance is? So this is really tough because if you go to the weekly chart, you can go all the way back. You have to go to the candles. Look, here it is at um, in the 12s. The last time it was in the 12s was uh, back in uh, this 13, 12s, 12, and that was it. Goodbye. So that was basically in December of 2021. Here we are uh, two years later, 2022. Yeah. Two year, over two years later. So that says to me that this little doji candle right here, the one on the 26th of um, November, the week of the 26th of November 2021, with a high of, whoa, whoa, uh, Dan's going to love hearing this, 13.87, that would be your next target. I'm not going to do a left side, right side price time match. I'm just going to say that, that the way it's acting right now uh, would be says that it, if this is leg C, it could pull back and have a sudden spike towards the high 12s, but then that 13s becomes a really, it becomes a magnet, but it also becomes a resistance. So to be able to treat that as the next level of cons high level consolidation, 
you would have to see 11.44 to about 10.90 hold on any pullback over the next two weeks and use that as a springboard to the upside. That's what I'd be looking at. On the downside, a close below 10.78, something in that area, 10.78 says, uh-oh, sideways for a little longer. I am a biotech, therefore I can also go sideways. So that's the way I'd look at it. So far, so good. ARWR, I've had on my list for a long time, and I believe, I'm not sure if you brought it to my attention way back, but anyway, this has gone from the 90s down to 20, and a really good rally from peak E, what is that, E right there. This is an F, I, I, the way it's looking right now, uh, the on-balance volume is a little bit overbought, but wow, this is a spectacular move. ARWR is uh, Arrowhead Pharma. Yeah, I, I, I lost the notations at some point, but I had this on my list. It was, a, it was once upon a time, a long time ago, uh, back when it was single digits back in 2018 on my list as a screamer, but I don't think we've ever had it. Right, so this is very good action. And here the 38.22, it's a 20, at 35.05. Uh, 52 cents that 38 level becomes a magnet it's done it before and it got repelled at the, when the magnet was at 40 i think that if it can get to 36 80 maybe even 37 10 on a weekly basis that means it might have to hold a whole day in that range to, to impress me as a weekly chart magnet line to the 38 22 level that's what i'd be looking at but it's pushed away from 30 10 which is the 200 period moving average that makes 32, oh, I, just on the short-term basis, 32.50 is very near-term support. Okay, next question came in. Um, MSOS. So I had a question about this, and MSOS is advisor, shares, pure, something. Uh, something. Uh, let me just check it out. Oh, this is pure U.S. cannabis. Okay, so holding really nicely here. Let me just put this together with MJ, which is what we once had, which is um, alternate harvest, I believe. Yeah, alternate harvest actor, sector, ETF, cannabis sector. Almost the same pattern. I'm beginning to see signs in this cannabis area that it's almost like the once when we had this together with the... Uh, GBTC, which is the Bitcoin, way down the lows, and then the, both of them had spectacular gains. This is starting to say to me, there's interest in this particular fund. So let me just go back to the question, which was MSOS, MSOS. And all I can say is that very similar patterns. Uh, one's at $7.26. That's the MSOS. And the other one is MJ trading at three twenty nine. They both have similar patterns. If they are, if they have in their charter different um, objectives, the chart doesn't really say that, and the price is this is about half the uh, price of the other one. So I'm I'm just going to look at this and say, I think it's in play, but I would only do one thing here, and that is I would start a small position. I'm going to the MJ at three twenty eight right now. And I just got to have flexibility. I, I have to say, I, I'd give it a whole point. This is just a very unusual um, to, to give it that kind of a, um, some kind of a stop of a point that's, that's, a, that's a way bigger percentage than usual. But let me just look at the MSOS. M, M, SOS, there we are. Yeah, so in that case, 724, it's almost the same story. Um, 703 is the 200-period moving average magnet. It's got to push away from that. It has to actually push into the 778. Same thing. I just start my position here because I do think from the higher highs and higher lows that it's been making, there's a much better interest than I've seen in a long time. I had it on my list. I did not do anything for subscribers. But it's, it's in the area that says how you participate in any upside move is really dependent on what your risk reward is because when it pulls back, it does it so quickly on a daily basis. It can have a look seven dollars and three cents down to uh, six dollars and three cents. That's a dollar. I mean, you know that. 
all I can say is that that's taking on percentage-wise. So I would just start with a small position right here. Um, that's MSOS, and it's almost the same thing in MJ. But be, have patience. There's a lot that has to be done for these, these uh, cannabis stocks to actually start to move higher independent of anything else because they definitely need uh, the federal. I guess it's, it's part of the whole banking system that's needed. All right. So that's, that's, that was that. The next one I had was a um, question on open. Open. Here we go. Oh, I forgot what else we done. Oh, open. Oh, look, this is the same pattern that we saw in... Uh, what was, it? what was I looking at earlier on? Is it the SMHs? Yeah, it's exactly the same pattern as the SMHs. Look at that. It's the rectangle that makes a large arch formation and then takes out the left side load. Open. So open straight up. Uh, no. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. 
Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi folks, so Open Open Door Tech Inc. platform for residential real estate. I've been looking at a number of these areas in the real estate area, more like the REITs, and this is going to be very interesting this next week coming up. So at 389, made this arch formation, uh, and it took out the left side low and says to me at 389, watch 360 is key support. Next thing I was asked about was Myrna. Myrna. Myrna is Moderna. Uh, just making a leg D today in the daily chart, a fraction of the higher high than on um, four days ago. It, on uh, the second, it went to 115.68, and today's high is 115.81. Remember, G slash C invariably goes to a D. Yes, it can fail, but be prepared that there could be another spike. This a high, and there it is. Thank you. Now, this is uh, I'm just going to say to you that the hunting hunt area um, over the next two weeks should be pretty important. So I'll see you back. Hey, check out Hope for more more days. Please let us see growth, great programming coming up. And we'll see what the dark voices is. But uh, this could be a very interesting week.